Gomezzi Entertainment. Titanfall is my favorite multiplayer of 2015. I clocked in a lot of hours in this game. When you first start the game up, there's an amazing cutscene kind of telling you the backstory of the last 50 years. But when you actually get into multiplayer, you realize the campaign is paper thin. Not just paper thin, you can't even hear it. The campaign is another multiplayer mode, and it's just screaming over all the action that's happening on the screen. You don't know what the hell is going on. There are brief cutscenes in between some of the multiplayer campaign modes, but they're only like maybe 5-10 seconds long, and the objective is to pretty much play 10 matches on each side of the team. That's it, and that's campaign. But let's get real. You're not here to play the campaign of Titanfall. You're here to play the multiplayer because it kicks ass! There are plenty of maps in this game and you get three packs of DLC for free. Each map is well equipped for your Titan or your pilot to run around freely to cause mayhem. There are 12 different modes. Attrition is the main mode where you kill NPCs and real pilots for points. Hardpoint is pretty much you take over areas and objectives. Last Titan standing, at the beginning of the match you start in your Titan. Whatever team destroys the next team's Titans first, wins the match. Marked for Death is a pretty sweet mode. The game will randomly choose someone on each side of the team to be marked for death. For that one life, you either have to protect yourself or kill the other teams marked for death to gain points. So, if you die as marked for death, it'll choose someone randomly again. So roughly in one round, you'll have 20 different people marked for death. It's really fun. You can customize your character by changing his machine gun, his sidearm, his titan defense weapon, his grenades, his special abilities, his perks, and so forth. And you can also customize your titan's loadouts as well. At the end of the match, you're given burn cards. These burn cards you use once per life and you get three per match. So with the right burn card, you can call in the Titan at the beginning of a match. You can make it so your guy can run super fast. You can make it so you can see through walls. You can make it so your Titan will blow up bigger. My favorite burn card is the respawn card. It lets you respawn after someone kills you in the exact spot you died. So I went and took a look at my stats, and it says I played about 4 days worth of Titanfall. 8 out of 10. Great multiplayer, but really forgettable campaign. Thank you for watching this video, and I have many more videos on my YouTube channel. And videos are added all the time. From mini movies, to TV shows, to game reviews, to movie reviews. I also have another show called What Up, where I talk about almost anything. You can follow me on Twitter at DLAPS13 that is Twitter at DLAPS13 and please subscribe to my channel I'll have a lot of new videos coming so please subscribe to my channel right now